I just want to say how building a targeted following can change your life. You can start an online business, make money as a creator, or even build enough trust to become a top industry expert helping people around the world. Anyone who's building a Twitter following knows this golden rule. You must target your followers because you can't market to everyone. That's why we want to build a targeted audience to attract more quality leads or strategically build a professional network while saving time and spending energy on the best relationships possible. Today, you'll learn how to create a professional network by proactively building your following with people placed instantly at your fingertips. Then, you'll learn how top professionals use Search and Explore to drive business and purposefully expand their reach. So, from your dashboard, click on Search and Explore under Community Building, and then click Let's Get Started or Edit Search Criteria. Now, here's where you pick the criteria of the kind of people you want to find on Twitter. And if you don't know your target audience yet, click on the blog linked in the description below where I help you figure that out. Now we'll add some words in their profile. In my example, I want to find marketers and business owners who want to learn about marketing tools or growing a Twitter community. Since I know who these people are with the demographic data in my account, I'll just write some common profile words from these kinds of people. You might also add influencer, brand ambassador, expert, content creator, or leader to build your network and collaborate with these kinds of people. You can also find people based on what they talk about as well so add some words or hashtags they would discuss so for me in my niche I'll add marketing sales business leads acquire hashtag b2b hashtag b2c and startup these features are all free to use but if you decide to take advantage of premium plans you'll get way more than this You'll have every tool you need in one platform from scheduling, management, listening, and visualizing with AI, and get the deepest engagement analytics possible. Once you make the investment in your Twitter journey, you can use Search and Explore to find people by location, language, and even more options to customize your feed. And if you want to follow people, make sure to hide accounts previously unfollowed or rejected by you. And if you want, you can include accounts you follow or accounts following you. But wait, there's more. Find people with a specific follower count or how many people they follow as well, when they were last active on Twitter, and if they have a profile picture. You can also find verified accounts if you like. And to further refine your search, you can exclude any people with these keywords in their profile. As we wait for the results, take a moment and imagine how you'll search for the perfect kinds of people that would like your content or would want to collaborate with you. Here, you can choose to follow anyone, message them with a public reply or reject them, add their profiles to a list or whitelist, and you can export these lists to an Excel spreadsheet for your Twitter ads campaign, or just to build the perfect global network. You save so much time when you can browse the people you want to find all in one place. And if they followed you, you can see the history of when you met on Twitter, which comes in handy because eventually over time, you'll forget about all the people you follow. So this is Search and Explore, and I love to take two minutes out of my week just to find the people who get the most benefit from me or potential collaborators and I look for those who are within my niche with the same amount of followers, so when I follow them, they can see me as a collaborator. Can you see how great this tool is for building a professional network? Now, like I promised, here's how professionals use this tool to create targeted ad campaigns and messaging campaigns in a fraction of the time. Business professionals love this tool because it's much easier to get a positive return when you have a specific demographic of people you're targeting for ads. In this example, let's create a hyper-targeted ad campaign for creators in the e-commerce industry. So just like before, let's add profile keywords like e-commerce. Next, let's add some stuff they talk about like Shopify. Next, we'll leave the location open and we'll keep English, uh, assuming that our ad will be in English. And uh, we'll hide accounts previously unfollowed. And we'll make sure they have um, from 7,000 followers to 11,000. Now this is just a guess, assuming that this is a, a kind of demographic of people who are actively trying to increase their followers. You know, they put in the time, but they still have more to go. So that's why I'm picking that range like that. Let's also find people who are following less than 7,000 people, assuming that they're not uh, gaining followers by getting followbacks. And once again, depending on your campaign, if it's in person, you can choose a location and hyper-target like that as well. Finally, let's exclude some keywords that we don't want in their profile. For example, we have grind, course, self-help, coach, chamber, as in chamber of commerce, because we added commerce, we wanna get rid of that because we're looking for e-commerce or any other political words you want to avoid to not have any negative or irrelevant engagement with these kinds of people. And just like that, you have 4,500 people that would be perfect to see your Twitter ad. Now, if you see a portion of the demographic that you don't like, you can continue refining your search, or if it's just a few people, you can reject them manually here. 
but for me, I'm just going to select them all and send them to an Excel spreadsheet so I can get my Twitter ad up and running knowing that it is time and ad spend spent wisely. The possibilities are endless with Search and Explorer, so let me know if you have any questions, and I'm really interested to see how you'll take advantage of this tool. And once again, if you don't know how to target your audience, click the blog linked in the description below and I'll help you to do that as well. And thank you so much for watching.